morning, guys. We are down here at beautiful Marina Costa Baja in La Paz, Mexico. This is one of the locations where Nautilus Sailing conducts its week-long liveaboard sailing courses. And we've just had an amazing breakfast over at the beach club overlooking the ocean. And this morning, we wanted to talk to you about docking. Docking should instill fear, trembling, and extreme caution in every sailor. Every time I bring a sailboat into a slip or to a dock, my heart still beats faster, and that's actually a good thing. Whenever you try cramming a beautiful sailboat into a tight space surrounded by millions of dollars in yachts, and you add wind and current and prop walk, this makes for a challenging situation. We recommend when you're working on your docking, find a nice long dock, and ideally, practice your docking in calm conditions. We're big fans of practicing docking at fuel docks. These are usually longer docks, not too many boats around, and it just gives you a little bit more room to maneuver. So in this video, we're just gonna cover the basics. There's a whole science to docking, lots of advanced techniques. We're just gonna look at the simple aspects of docking today. It's really important before you come into an unfamiliar marina, dock, or slip, you wanna find out about the area. Four things that you wanna know. Number one, you want to know the wind direction. Where's the wind coming from? Which way is it going to push your boat? Number two, is there any current in the marina? And which way is that going to push your boat? Third thing is hazards. Often you might find yourself in an area where there's an old dock, maybe a strip of wood coming off, maybe there's a rock in the area. You want to know those hazards. Fourth thing is the height of the dock. This is really important because we need to know the height at which to put our fenders so they protect our boat when we come into dock. Another thing you want to know is the effect of prop walk on your sailboat. Most sailboats, when you put the boat in reverse, it's going to pull the boat to port. Before we make our approach into the dock, there's a couple other things that we want to get ready. We want to tie our fenders on. We then want to run our dock lines, one from the bow cleat, one from the stern cleat. Make sure that they're not going over the lifelines or around a stanchion. And we also want to open up the lifeline gate just so we're ready to jump off on the dock. When you're coming into a slip or a dock, really important that you plan your approach into the wind. It's going to make things a lot easier and just help slow your boat down. As you line up to come in with the dock, you want to be going slow. Can't emphasize this enough. Really, really want just barely enough speed so that you have steerage. You want the boat going as slow as possible as you approach the dock. Talk with your crew, make sure everyone is clear on their responsibilities and how they can help you dock. When the boat is one to two boat lengths from the dock, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put the boat in neutral. What this is gonna do is, it's gonna help you control your speed and just glide in slowly to the dock. As you make your final approach to the dock, really important that you come in at as shallow an angle as possible. As the boat gets really close to the dock, you're going to want to start pivoting the bow away from the dock. The goal here, when the boat makes contact with the dock, you want the beam of the boat, the widest part, usually near the shrouds, to gently kiss the dock. Right when the boat is about to make contact with the dock, the helmsman can feather the boat in reverse. This means just give it a little bit of reverse and go into neutral. A little bit of reverse, go into neutral. You don't want to slam the boat into a reverse at this point or prop walk can pull your stern away from the dock. When the boat has come to a full and complete stop, the crew with the dock lines can step off the boat and go ahead and cleat those lines off to get your boat attached to the dock. Warn your crew ahead of time. You don't want anyone leaping or jumping off the boat. As the boat comes in, if you have people trying to make flying leaps off onto the dock, it's just a recipe for a disaster. The key to departing a dock smoothly is to plan and think carefully about how you're gonna leave the dock and talk through that with your crew. If you can, use the wind to your advantage to help blow you away from the dock. Spring lines can also be super helpful in helping you pivot your boat away from the dock. One simple trick is to shorten your stern line, have a fender right there at the back of your boat, and then put the boat in reverse. This is slowly gonna pivot your bow away from the dock. The person on the dock can go ahead and release that stern line and hop on the boat. It's 
So the key to getting good at docking is just practice, practice, practice. Like we said, practice this on a long dock, ideally in calm conditions. Just get to know your boat, get a feel for how to dock, get good at doing this with your crew. It's gonna make docking so much easier for you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Lots more great videos are in the works with all kinds of practical sailing tips. Be sure to check out the next video to continue learning from our basic sailing series.